Hey y'all, we making shrimp creole today. So first we gonna melt one stick of butter, which is half a cup. And we gonna add half a cup of flour once that melts. And then we gonna stir it. And you wanna get all the lumps out and make sure everything is fully incorporated. And we gonna just keep stirring for about the next 20 minutes. Now you don't wanna leave this unattended for too long because root is very easy to burn especially when you use an all butter like i am because of the milk solids in it so yeah just keep on stirring do not leave this stove and the longer you stir you see the darker that it gets so it's getting pretty dark here but i want it a little darker yeah right here see that pretty peanut butter color that's what you want when you're making shrimp creole or etouffee that's the color right there so now we're gonna add our chopped vegetables. I like to use these frozen seasoning blends because I got a baby, I ain't got a lot of time to chop the stuff. But if you wanna use fresh, just use one medium onion, one medium bell pepper, and two stalks of celery. And that's gonna stop the roof from cooking and we're gonna get no darker. So then we're gonna add three ounces of tomato paste, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, and now we're gonna act like you saw me add one and a half cups of shrimp stock because I forgot to press record when I was doing it. Ugh. All right, now we're gonna add a couple of teaspoons of Creole seasoning. This is my blend. The recipe for this is pinned at the top of my profile. But if you don't have Creole seasoning, you can use salt, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, herbs, and pepper. And you see I added the bay leaf and you're going to stir that up and then you're going to cover the pot and you're going to come back and stir it periodically maybe about every seven to ten minutes because you don't want it to stick and then add some sugar while it's halfway done cooking and that's going to cook, cook the acidity and now we're going to add some salt to the shrimp that's peeled and deranged this is two pounds of shrimp We'll add this Zatarain. No more than half a teaspoon. This stuff is strong as hell. Don't be heavy handed with it. A little goes a long way. So you're going to mix that into the shrimp. And then you're going to add the shrimp to the pot. And stir it. Mmm, don't that look good? Oh my goodness. And then we're going to cover it and let that cook for about 15 minutes. And when it's just about done, I'm gonna stir it a little bit more. And while that's finishing up, you're gonna chop up a handful of parsley. And you're gonna turn the heat off and add the parsley to the pan and then stir that in. And there you have it, folks. Shrimp Creole, I'm gonna plate this up. Now, this is typically eaten with rice, but you can also eat it with a baked potato or a mashed potatoes or even over grits. It's so good with grits, y'all. But yeah, shrimp creole is delicious. And if you try my recipe, please let me know. The written recipe is going to be on my blog, www.mylouisiana.kitchen. Bon appétit.